and good day everyone and welcome back to another video and we're out today it's just in August and I'm out uh, finally with my camera again and it's been a while mainly due to a broken ankle I was out filming and pretty much fractured my ankle in two places so it was a whole thing but today it's feeling good and I'm trying going out with my full gear again for the very first time and it's just in August, so that means there's baby deer about. They've just started following the mothers. And I really want to get some nice shots of them. So I'm going to my favorite oak tree, sitting under there, as it's in the center of the meadow. And hopefully the deer will come out in the evening. And we'll see what we can get. Hope you enjoy. These deer are extremely skittish, by the way. They're very scared. If they sight or smell you, they will. They won't be long hightailing it. Basically, they'll. Uh, all you will see is them. Their backsides running away from you. So you have to be really stealthy looking for them. And I think that's what keeps making me come back for more. They're really fun to chase down to try to find. You have some good days and you have some bad days where you don't even find the deer. But if you're watching this, I'm guessing I found something. So. Let's hope we can find some baby deer. This is the oak tree, just here, that we're going to be hiding under. We're going to set up just under here. And hopefully the deer, and hopefully the deer comes out. Alright, and now we wait. set up white net, an area where I've seen the deer emerge in the evenings recently. But with that change of wind, if they show up there, they're gonna smell. It's always possible they could show up behind me. Or they may not show up at all. But thankfully, my luck was about to change. This beautiful young buck decided to show itself and was slowly making his way right towards me. The male of this deer has much bigger antlers than this. This guy has a long way to go before he starts competing with the big boys. He was very alert, and if I made any sort of sudden noise, he was straight away looking in my direction. But thankfully I was hidden behind a tree for the most part, with just my camera sticking out. And he continued on towards me until eventually he smelt me, and he headed on his way. and leaves with a dramatic jump across the hedgerow. That was pretty crazy. That deer that you just saw there showed up right behind me. It was walking towards me as you can see in the video, but then went behind this tree and ended up right there. And I, at this point, was just dead still. The camera wasn't pointing at him or anything. I was just hoping he would go and run by. But as soon as he got up out there, I think he smelled me. And he just started, he bounced all the way over to where we got that last shot. I'll show you that now. And you can hear him barking, he's alerting. Something spooked him, he doesn't really know what it is. He just know he may have saw something move or he smelled something very close to him there. But fantastic young buck. Really nice to see. So we'll wait another little while and hope something else shows up. But them alert calls, them barks, they would have alerted any other deer around here. That there's something funny going on. Fingers crossed we'll get some maths, but I'm 
I'm happy. I'm very happy. Anything from now on is just extra. I do, I would love to see a baby deer though. But we'll take what we can get. And an hour later, like someone flicked a switch, deer just started pouring out of the woods. And what came with them was this Irish hare. But what was about to happen next even took me by surprise. Something's about to scare this little fella. And I thought he sensed me. But soon, we get our answer. A pine marten, a very rare sight, bounded across the meadow and I just happened to be pointing the camera the same way. So I just hear running behind me, and well, I'll just let the footage speak for itself. These deer stay in the forest all day, so I imagine this little fawn here is releasing all that pent up energy. What a perfect little thing. I ended up watching these fallow deer for a good guts of an hour. But the light was continuing the fade and my camera was finding it harder and harder to adjust to the darker settings. I really couldn't get enough of this little fella making his way around the herd. He did see me earlier, but he doesn't really see me as a threat as none of the herd know I'm there, so he thinks there's nothing to be alarmed about. And I never feel as privileged as when I do when looking at an otherwise secretive animal and seeing a little insight into their world.
Well, that was something really special. As you can probably tell, I'm using my phone. I dropped the GoPro, and <laughs> it's probably, I left it recording. I have, hand on my heart, never had a better wild deer experience than what I just witnessed there. They were all around us there, and you, you could see as soon as the deer just got up to us, as soon as my silhouette wasn't hidden by the tree anymore, like that, the whole mood changed and the whole hair just moved off. How cute was it seeing that little deer running around? And then just, he was the only one that noticed us. He was sitting there, it was because he had ran up earlier and he had seen me, he looked me dead in the eye and ran back. But he, he or she lacks the experience to know what to do in that situation. We saw the mother, as soon as she saw danger, let out a bark. And after seeing there's a big stag running across, it's too dark for the camera now. You can probably even see it's kind of fuzzy on this. Just unbelievable. I don't think I've ever had such a close encounter with those deer. And for the first time to be out on the ankle, it's, you know, it never ceases to amaze me just how much nature can take your breath away. I'm out here loads. And what we just witnessed there was something very special. And those deer, they're going to be getting ready for rutting soon. And we saw, well I saw the buck running across and they still, there at the moment, they still have a velvet coating on their antlers. But give that one month or so from now, so into September and October, they're going to start rutting and they're going to start fighting. And what that means is I'll be out trying to film them. Now I will have college as well, so I will be limited to when I can go out. But I've went out every year and I've got some fabulous shots of them, but I've not once got them fighting. So hopefully this year will be different and I can finally create a sequence of the deer out here. We also saw that pine marten out in the meadow. We saw the Irish hare. So yeah, that day was a real treat. I'm a bit I'm talking a bit much, but I've just been I've been truly been taken back a little bit from what we just witnessed. They are scared skittish deer and what we just witnessed was a real treat. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it, as I'm sure you can tell. Um, but yeah, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next venture. Bye bye.